What is up everybody, Eddie Soundhead back again with another episode of NASCAR Heat 2 Career and today we're going to hit a race off at Kansas as the season is rapidly winding down, only four races left and we're going to be knocking out three of those races today starting here at Kansas Speedway as we said. So just uh, going to kind of play it safe, we've got a pretty good uh, point gap here with all the playoff points we've earned during the season, so we're just going to do our best to get up towards the front. If we can win races, we'll do it, but we're not going to risk you know, our lives to do it. Uh, we're pretty much going to get carried right into Homestead anyway, so really, uh, I hate to say these races don't matter, but they don't, they're don't. they not as heavy. And coming off of stage one, just passing some cars basically, and we get up to ninth position. That's a very strong stage one. That's one of the strongest ones we've had this season. All righty, and we'll be starting on the inside line here. We're underway for stage two. Should be about five laps, so it's a lap longer for some reason. But uh, yeah, just gonna muscle our way to the front if we can. We'll lock the brakes up a little bit there going into turn one, but we can just have a good run here and get back by some of these guys and go battle Cole Custer for the lead. I hit him too and I can't. I'm just, I'm not going to get there. All right, fair play. Cole Custer is going to beat me to the line here for first. We'll come home second in the stage. Good run. Uh, now I believe we have to pit. All right, so Custer, uh, myself, and Ryan Reed uh, used our opportunity to pit because now we can make it to the end. However, nobody else uh, pitted in there for they cannot make it to the end. So it's one of them situations where we just got to put as many cars between myself and Cole Custer and Ryan Reed, and we'll basically be in the lead. Like right now, we're basically fighting Cole Custer for the lead spot. So the more of these cars in front of us we pass, the better off we'll be in the long run for this race. We already get to the inside of Lupton and Majeski. So uh, I'm just going to ride the high line if I can. And Custer shoots me out to the high side. But that might actually have been a good thing. Because that will give me a bit better run. And uh, we'll take it to the end. And here come a lot of these guys here pitting. It looks like two are going to stay out. But that will basically grant us the lead here within the next lap. And Brandon Poole got held up so much. He's going to fall back to us anyway. Byron leads. But he'll be pitting uh, this lap it looks like. Ah, and just what I didn't want to see. Great. All right, so I ended up pitting and taking two tires because I figured there's only four cars on the lead lap if I pit. And I like having fresh tires uh, versus the rest of these guys. So we took a little bit of a gamble here, and it looks like it's already paying off because we're already the inside of Cole Custer for the lead. We'll stick our nose out there for the lead of this race late with only two laps to go, a two-lap shootout. On the back stretch, though, Cole Custer's going to fight back to my outside here. I'm going to take it in. Eisenhard into turn three and four, and we look like we will clear him. And that is going to be another win. I've lost track of how many wins we have at this point. It's too many is, what, is how many we have. Just too many. And there are your standings. Everybody below uh, fifth and below lap down. So tough race for them. A great race for us. Strategy pays off once again. And just a solid race. Just, uh, you know, got to the front. Led some laps. And uh, there's your point standings. We are in the lead. We're advanced into Homestead. So that is guaranteed. Although it was pretty much guaranteed anyway. With a 97, you know, over the gap line. So... Uh, so big names on the outside looking in, though, so we'll be able to see uh, what they're able to do in the next couple of races to try and get inside, and we collect another generic first place trophy, and we'll take it with us back to the shop. It looks like next up, well, first we'll have to pick a, an incentive contract. We'll take the normal one. Next race is at Texas, so uh, we'll jump into that one right now. And here at Texas Motor Speedway. So I had a couple of runs now at Texas and uh, had some strong, strong races here. So hoping for another one of those. Just keeping it clean. Should be all right. So we'll go ahead and jump right into the race. We are underway. So should be a solid race here and just going to do the same thing we did in Kansas. Just got to 
get to the front, pass as many cars as you can as early as possible, but uh, got to keep it clean too. And looks like we'll get, well, Hamrick on the outside there, but we'll come home 20th in stage one. Alright, so uh, decent stage one. Didn't quite get as much uh, ground as I would have liked to, but up into 20th about mid-pack, so. Should be a uh, decent head start into stage two now. Just got to get up to the front. Three wide here, uncomfortable with Reddick's just going to rub me up there. And Reddick apparently not able to hold his line. You freaking idiot. Oh, and he's going to, we're going to slap, and that's the wall. And a crash on the front stretch. And the car is destroyed. Great. All right, so that sucked. Uh, car got absolutely totaled, so I had to pit. Um, so back at phase zero, basically. Just got to try and get back up to the front with a little less time to do it. And a huge run on Joey Gase there, and I'm going to run into him and spin him out. Just dumped him. Didn't even try. Uh. Well, this race isn't exactly panning out how I would have liked it to, but we're back underway here in the final stage now. So just going to have to keep the wheels going in the right direction if we want to have a solid finish here. And back up to Reddick, who, and he's going to block us, and we dumped him. And we got caught on the apron now, and now we get dumped by Allgaier. Oh, man, we almost flipped, and Jeremy Clements went right up into my window. That looked brutal. Alrighty, so we are uh, back on the way down with a completely destroyed car. Uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting, that's for sure. Three wide here. This is for the top five, which I'd very much like to have as Ty Dillon just gets left in the dust. He just got stuck on that outside there. But we're clear uh, Brandon Jones there. Uh, maybe not quite. He's going to fight back on our outside here, but we'll send it in low and turns three and four. And we'll, believe it or not, we're actually going to come out of this with a half decent finish. If we come out of turn four with no problems, and we do. So we'll come home fifth after just an absolute struggle of a race. Just kept wrecking, it seemed like. Just not good. When we're looking back at this replay here uh, of that first accident. I saw something I didn't notice at first. Look at Cole Custer up in the air, flipping over. He got tossed around pretty good. We'll look at it again here from a different angle. Man, Cole Custer just got clobbered and thrown up into the air. Just brutalized. Rip. And this is the second accident with Tyler Reddick. Oh, man. Just got hard in the door there by Jeremy Clements up into the window. <laughs> so that'll be that race. Daniel Suarez gets the win, which I believe he, that will advance him into Homestead with us. But uh, pulled off a top five, which is a good recovery on a kind of not-so-good race. So I guess we got to be proud of that. And, and Suarez does indeed get advanced into the next round. So that's uh, not great, but not bad either, I guess. So we will head back to the shop. And we have momentum for a couple of good races in a row there. So we'll hit a couple of requirements on the incentive contract. And we'll look at the next race. The uh, second to last race, the penultimate, if you will, at Phoenix. And here we are at Phoenix International Raceway, or uh, what is it going to be called, ISM Raceway? And uh, this will be, uh, you get a good look at Phoenix looking like this, because it really won't be like this. And just in front of us, where you see out of our car, will actually be pretty much where the start-finish line is going to be. So that will be interesting uh, in the second half of 2018 to see that in action. But we got to focus on what we got to do here. We're underway, and we just need a solid run. Nothing special. We're already going to Homestead, guaranteed. But it would nice. It would be nice to get a win here at Phoenix. I don't believe we've won here yet. So let's uh, let's see what we can get out of this one. And got by a bunch of guys in stage one, and we will come home 13th. Alrighty. So restarts are just an absolute struggle, although, of course, as soon as I say that, we actually have a half-decent one. But this is what I'm talking about. We just seem to get left behind. 
uh, once we get into turn one, but that's where we can kind of recover and come back. And then I'll just send it down deep into the dog leg, and that's where we make most of our ground up. So, driving over the uh, infield logos and whatnot, and send it in deep onto Tyler, uh, excuse me, Ty Dillon, rather. We got Blake Hook behind us as well. So, good run. Got up to William Byron here, but not quite going to catch him. Kind of stalled out here in fourth. But we will get home in stage two with fourth, so a very solid stage and set us up good for the final restart, hopefully. Alrighty, here and just got to get to that inside as soon as I can. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to get kind of stuck out here. The restarts are just so bad here for whatever reason. I don't know, but getting stuck on the outside, I'm going to have to kind of crowd Blake Cook to try and get down to the bottom. Blake, please let me down. Thank you. Oh, I think he's spinning out behind us too. Yep. And uh, yeah, that'll be a caution, unfortunately. So maybe a little bit too aggressive there. All right, so not a great restart for me. I kind of wrecked Blake Cook there trying to get down to the bottom, but this time we get down with a little bit less hassle involved. And that'll cost us a couple of positions there with the whole restart shenanigans and all that, but we still got a little bit of time to, to get some more spots and pass some more cars here, so we'll just do our best. Down through the dog leg, getting inside of Cole Custer, Ryan Reed, William Byron, Joey Logano, man, pass a bunch of cars that were sideways. That could have been tragic. But we get back up alongside Brandon Poole here for fourth, and we might get him going into turn one if we're nice and smooth, and we are here. So he'll fight back, but we'll get the spot. All right, here the clock's winding down. I'm gonna send it in deep on Allgaier and Sadler, and I just tapped the back of Allgaier, and he's sideways, and he's slammed me, and he's gonna go around behind us. Ugh, I mistimed that one pretty bad. I meant to just dive it underneath Allgaier, but didn't quite get it. Got more of his bumper than I did anything else, so tough break. And that might kind of seal the deal here with only two laps to go. Unfortunately, we probably won't be winning this race now because of that. But uh, we'll we'll give it a try here. We'll drive to the infield. Dog leg, if you will. We'll send it in low on Brennan Gone and Elliot Sadler. That's extremely low. That's maybe too low. <laughs> I usually like to be just below that yellow line. And that was extremely low here. A little bit of contact and more contact with Brennan Gone here. I swear I'm trying not to hit him. Well, we get by him going into turn one for the final time here on the last lap, and I think Sadler's just a little bit too far out there. We'll see how this dog leg gives us a run. Not much, so I'm just going to send it in deep and get up alongside of him here. Actually, we, we might get by him here. Oh, we do, man, in the last lap. Oh, man, we're going to rob Elliot Sadler of a win. Oh, no. Oh, man. So not the cleanest of passes, but hey, oh. A win's a win, I guess. It could have been worse. So there we go. We steal one from Elliot Sadler in the final corner. That's a heartbreaker for him. And uh, tough, tough break for him. But we do get the win here at Phoenix. I believe that's our first one. So a good job there. Get our uh, pays here. And there's your eliminations. William Byron, Justin Allgaier, Blake Cook, and Ty Dillon. Big names. So, uh, wow, hurts to see them out of it early, but they're gone. And we'll get another generic first place trophy here. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take it, we'll pack it up, and we'll head back to the shop. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. We are in to the championship round. There is only one race left, the season ender at Homestead Miami Speedway. And that will be coming to you New Year's Eve. So, uh, Elliot Sadler, even though we just robbed him, still has good words for us on Twitter. So, uh, thank you there, Elliot Sadler, for those, uh, being a good sport. But as you see here, the next race is the last one. Homestead Miami Speedway, the Ford EcoBoost 300. So, make sure you tune in that, guys, for the epic conclusion of this season. Thank you all so much for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next one.